Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, IIT Madras, was established as an institute of national importance in the city of Chennai, then known as Madras, in 1959. This was a joint initiative of the Government of India and the former Government of West Germany and is one of the first five IITs in India. IIT Madras has been consistently rated as one of India's most prestigious institutions and is ranked the top engineering institute by the Ministry of Education's NIRF ranking. It also has been awarded the Institution of Eminence IOE status by the Government of India. The Department of Mechanical Engineering at IIT Madras is as old as the Institute. Its impact on the Institute and society is easily demonstrated by noting the alignment of the Department's evolution with key events and technological advances at national and international levels. Our Department currently has three broad sections, Thermal, Design and Manufacturing, hosting various research-focused groups. The seven research-focused themes, RFTs, are Next Generation Computing Micro Nano Systems Sustainable Energy, Clean Water, Agriculture Modern Mobility Systems Smart Manufacturing and Advanced Materials Bioengineering Thermal Fluid Systems we attract a vibrant diversity of talented individuals with more than 700 undergraduates, 500 graduate students and nearly 70 faculty members. The impressive array of faculty, staff and students makes us the largest in the country and one of the largest in Asia as well. Our faculty members are well organized nationally and internationally, which has helped us maintain our top rating in national and global rankings. In addition to teaching undergraduate and graduate students, the faculty members actively pursue research through graduate students. The existing strength of graduate students comprise of more than 150 Master of Technology students, MTech, 170 Master of Science by research students, MS, and over 350 students pursuing their doctoral program, PhD. This strong research orientation enables us to publish more than 300 articles every year, with about 400 million rupees of funding from various sources. We have a robust academia industry relationship with a curriculum enabling the students to achieve excellent placements in various core engineering public and private companies, universities and R&D centers across the globe, thereby bringing international recognition for the department. Our Manufacturing Engineering Section, MES, has a group of 11 faculty members who focus on topics related to manufacturing science and engineering, ranging from processes, materials, machine tools, robotics, and Industry 4.0. Different centers of excellence have been established for team-based research on advanced manufacturing, light weighting, laser processing, and extraterrestrial manufacturing. The research activities are sponsored by the manufacturing industry, government funding agencies, and research organizations such as Defense and Space. Some of the research topics pursued by students include 3D printing, micro nano manufacturing, Industry 4.0, AI, ML based process modeling, among others. The research efforts are contributing to the Make in India initiative, making the country self-dependent in the manufacture of various precision machines and products. I am Triluchan Prasad Nanda, a PhD scholar from Mechanical Engineering Department, IIT Madras. 
here we have the high vacuum bridging furnace facility uh, where we join different CBN and diamond particles to the metal substrate through brazing process and the brazing is done at high vacuum. Uh, the vacuum level we are reaching is better than 10 to the power minus 6 millibar with the help of one sophisticated turbo molecular pump and the rotary pump. Uh, we have the molybdenum heaters which can go up to a maximum temperature of 1200 degrees Celsius at high vacuum. Also we have the PID controller to control the heating and cooling rates. Myself Bandana Priyadarshini, uh, a research scholar in the Department of Mechanical Engineering in IIT Madras. With the help of this brazing setup, we have developed some uh, single layer brazed CBN and diamond tools such as this grinding tool for deep, deep grinding, uh, clipper wheels, dressing tools, uh, drilling tools and some other tools. Our design section has 21 faculty members working in diverse areas spanning mechanics and materials, dynamics and acoustics, assistive devices, non-destructive evaluation and robotics. Most of the labs are in the machine design section building. The group's faculty members form an excellent blend of youth and experience. The research scholars work on cutting-edge technologies such as modeling soft matter and granular materials, developing fast and efficient computational tools, biomechanics with prostheses, bio-inspired underwater robots for NDE inspection, acoustic meta-materials and multi-material product development. The research is well supported by funding from government funding agencies including defense and space as well as from industry. My name is Masim Wambegu. I come from Kenya, the coastal side of Kenya, a place called Kilifi. And I'm here to do my MS, my master's in mechanical engineering under the architected materials and design. IITM is a very great institution and it has given me an opportunity to actually sharpen and do my mastering or my proficiency in this particular area of design and working with different materials and as you can see here we are working with the 3D printers. Actually the faculty here there is a very big difference like here I've seen there is the, um, there's a way the faculty is very much involved with the student participation and all and they are really re very ready to help and you get the hands-on experience and all which is very good especially for our particular field where you really need the hands-on experience for you to have a feel of exactly what you're supposed to be doing and all, yeah. The, the, first thing is, uh, the first thing that I found out when I came here, it was the people here are very welcoming, very friendly. They are very ready to help. I think it's the one thing that demystified whatever I had because coming from Kenya, we also have Indians there, but the level of their ge generosity and their welcoming is not the same as here. Here I got a different kind of people. I, I almost said it's a different breed of Indians because of the way they were very welcoming, very ready to help, yeah, which has made it very easy for us or for me to settle in. Yeah. Our thermal section started its journey in the 1960s as different laboratories for research and teaching in heat transfer, refrigeration, combustion, IC engines and turbo machines. These laboratories were housed in three buildings. With time, newer areas got added to the research. This brought faculty members to work closely with each other across laboratories, paving the way for the present day thermal section. Currently, there are 32 faculty members in the thermal section, making this one of the strongest thermal science programs in the country. The faculty members, students and staff work in cutting-edge research ranging from fundamentals to applied science and technology and socially relevant projects. Both experimental and computational techniques, including machine learning applications, are used to solve some grand challenges in fluid flow and heat transfer, including bio-heat transfer. Hence, it is inevitable that faculty members of the thermal section are part of several potential centers for excellence in these areas. 
IIT Madras provided me the solid foundation, whether it was in theory or the actual practical experience of building, making, and operating mechanical things. I'll be forever grateful to the Mechanical Engineering Department, IIT Madras, for giving me such a solid foundation. Hello everyone, I am C. Ram Ramakrishna, Professor at the National University of Singapore. I'm very proud that I have received education from Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, Mechanical Engineering, uh, nearly three decades ago. That helped me to build an interdisciplinary mindset. Since then, I've mentored more than 50 PhD students, more than 150 research scientists, postdoctoral uh, people. They went on to become professors, leaders in industry, and they have contributed. In other words, the education I received produced a multiplied effect. I'm thankful to you, and I wish you all a good future in the years ahead. Thank you. In 87, I landed in IIT Madras. My association with Mechanical Engineering Department of IIT Madras starts then. I really thank IIT Madras for the wonderful career. It has shaped me to really uh, grow in my stature as well as it has benefited immensely for the country also. And it continues to produce stalwarts from the department now also. I wish them all the very best. Thank you so much. Jai Hind. look back at my experience from around 10 years back, I would first like to acknowledge and appreciate the academic program at IITM. As a student, I had taken the depth and rigor of the coursework for granted. Later, as a graduate student, I realized that the exposure at IITM gave me an advantage over several of my classmates. Uh, I have fond memories of the campus, uh, including working long nights in lab as well as in CFI. Facilities like the research park and CFI are even bigger today. So I'm sure you'll have an even better experience in the next few years. As you have seen, we are engaged in a wide variety of cutting edge research across both traditional and emerging areas. As the country moves towards self-reliance in technology development, we are focusing on hybrid and hydrogen engines, battery thermal management systems for Indian conditions, healthcare devices, smart manufacturing, as well as smart meta-materials. The startup ventures at the IIT Madras Research Park, initiated by our faculty and students in the last few years, will help in translating the cutting edge research work into solutions to meet the country's technological challenges and to develop an Atmanirbhar Bharat. Mm -hmm.